Welcome to Small Town Big Deal. We've traveled across the country and firmly believe that the people in small towns are the hands that keep America strong. So join us, Rodney Miller and Jan Carl, as we show you the great things these people do on Small Town Big Deal. Welcome back to Small Town Big Deal. Today, with Jan firmly at the wheel, we're winding our way through the small towns of Vermont. We visited a sugar house near Woodstock, where sap from Vermont's maple trees was transformed into syrup. Now we're crossing the state on our way to Middlebury. You know, we're making such good time, I think we can stop for just a little bit of souvenir shopping. I don't think we got time, Jan. You sure? I don't know, we just, what? There's great, great little shops in Vermont everywhere. We'll see, All right. okay? All right, Killjoy. Wait, what just happened? We were just going forward a second ago. Jan, what are you doing? Rodney, we're going shopping. Oh no, Jan. This unscheduled stop is happening in Weston. It's pretty much in the middle of the state. It's home to 630 lucky residents because they get to live in the same town as the Vermont Country Store. So I get their catalog, I shop here, I never thought I'd get to come. But Jan, we don't have time. Just really fast, really fast, you're gonna love it. They have samples. Look, oh my gosh, there's stuff on the ceiling, candy galore. I promise I'll go really it's a fast. Minute show. I know, I know. Walking through the Vermont Country Store is like journeying back in time. Not just because of its nostalgic atmosphere, but because you'll find things here that haven't been sold elsewhere in years. Excuse me. Hi, I'm looking for G. Your hair smells terrific. I recognize you guys. Aren't you guys the folks from Small Town Big Deal? Yeah. You are? Hi. Yes. How are you? Good. I'm Elliot Orton. Hi, Jan Carl. Well, nice to meet you. Well, this is my family's business, and my dad, Lyman, and my brothers, Cabot and Gardner, were the proprietors. Elliot says the store is in the same building today as it was when his grandfather first opened the business in 1946. That same year, they started mailing their popular Vermont Country Store catalog nationwide. We search all over for things high and low that, that you remember from, from days gone by that sort of bring you back to a simpler time. And speaking of time, we've got to get moving along. So I'm going to need a shopping bag. He might want a place to sit down. Great. Be happy to help you and show you around. And there's a sitting area right over here. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Jan. I know, I know. Look around, though. You might find something. Ooh, Elliot, you know what? Rodney loves cookies. Maybe I should buy him a box to thank him for stopping. Well, you know, these aren't just any cookies. These are Orton Brothers cookie buttons, and we make them in our own bakery right here. You have a bakery? We do. I didn't know that. Well, what are his favorite flavors? He likes peanut butter. Well, we make peanut butter. <gasps> and okay. do you want to go to the bakery and make some cookies? I think that would be good. Great. Why don't okay. I show you where to go? Okay. All right. Great. So far, I've found some free samples. That's a good tip. They sell lots of candies and cheeses here, but some of this stuff is just not me. Rodney, we have this in your size, complete with a trap door in the back. I have to find Jan. Where is she? So I heard you come to make cookies. I have. Perfect. We're just about to start mixing right now. Okay. Here's some gloves for All you. All right. What in the world has Jan got me into? Just pour it all in? Yeah. All right. Whoa. Tilt it up. let's stop at the Vermont Country Store. Jan, we don't have time. Yes, we're going to the Vermont Country Store. So Julie, how many cookies will this make? Each 40 pound batch makes about 100 of our six ounce boxes. That smells so good. Hey, they sell whoopee cushions here. I can't wait to trick Jan with this. And a raccoon hat, cool. I kind of feel like a kid again. You know, this isn't so bad. I feel badly. Rodney's back at the store. He'll be fine. He's probably tapping his foot. Standing outside. Wondering where I am. Maybe he'll find one thing in the store that he likes. A lot of flour. A lot of sugar. Ah. A lot of peanut butter. You gotta have a pair of these. No, you get to lick the beater? Absolutely. Oh, 
Now we're ready to bake them. Can we wait just a second? Yeah. Like Take, take your time. <sighs> Rodney's probably bored to tears. And we just dump it right into here. For my granddaughter. <sighs> Isn't that cute? Okay, are you ready? I hope so. Okay. I'm just thinking it's gonna be like Lucille Ball in that episode. Hey, this is harder than I thought. Whoa, that's enough. They're ready for the oven. Hannah's hot. Oh, poor Rodney is probably sleeping somewhere. All baked and ready to seal. That's okay, just stuff them right in there. Man, where did the time go? I gotta get back. Bye bye. bye. See you later. Hey there. Mm. I found my shampoo. Oh, well, good for you. A few other things and. To say thank you for stopping, because I really appreciate it. I got you your favorite cookies. Oh, you didn't butter. have to do that. I mean, did you find anything? Well, you know, I might have found a thing or two. Really? Matter of fact, uh, this turned out to be a pretty cool store. Um, Told ya. Maybe I need a little help carrying some stuff out, you know? A few things? Look, Jen, I paid cash. Don't tell my wife. Well, I told you it was a good store. It was too good a store. Okay, this is never going to fit in the van. This family-owned business serves millions of customers in the U.S. and nine countries around the world, all from the little town of Weston. That's a pretty big deal. So how'd we do? Pretty good, I think. E. Rodney did real well. I think so. Well, we want to thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Rodney. <laughs> you got too good a store. Hey, Jana, can I borrow some cash? <laughs>